Hey loves, I am back with another video because I missed y'all and I want to take the time out in this video to show you how I made this hair and face mask that I use every week. Taking a glass measuring cup, I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of distilled water. This distilled water is going to be used to house and boil my fenugreek powder because fenugreek powder is great for increasing the thickness of your hair, slowing down the fallout of hair, and promoting growth for those who are suffering from hair loss. It's going to also promote hair growth because it contains vitamin C, K, and A. It is high in folic acid. It has potassium, calcium, iron, and protein, which also helps with hair growth. I also am going to throw in a banana peel because banana peels actually promote hair growth as well, and it contains potassium and vitamin K. Banana peels help to reduce dandruff, and it has vitamins A, B, and C, and it's also an antioxidant. So I want to go ahead and start adding in my powders for my mask into this plastic bowl. First thing first is Brand Garage powder because it promotes hair growth, strengthens follicles, nourishes the hair and skin, reduces thinning, increases and improves your blood circulation and if you decided to use it with a paste you can add it to some coconut oil and let it sit on your hair for one or two hours before rinsing it out and you can also use it in an oil and apply that to your hair three times a week i'm also adding an alma powder which raises sebum production soothes itchy scalp and dandruff and can be used as a deep conditioner with coconut oil as well and i would say the same thing rinse it out after one or two hours this powder also helps with scalp inflammation i added in some ashwagandha because ashwagandha is great for stressed hair because we know stressed hair also falls out it strengthens your hair follicles it helps reduce gray hairs it reduces inflammation and if you decide to ingest ashwagandha powder it helps to reduce stress and anxiety bentonite clay was added to this mixture as well we cannot forget a bentonite clay powder it gives your scalp that deep cleanse it offers moisture to the hair it clarifies the hair follicles and it allows water absorption because water is what hydrates our hair i threw in some neem powder because that conditions the scalp it seals the hair follicles it minimizes thinning reduces hair loss and promotes hair growth the other thing that i added to this was activated charcoal because activated charcoal helps remove impurities and it gives your hair a deep cleanse i'm throwing in some turmeric powder as you can see and turmeric is an antioxidant and it actually protects your follicles when i was talking about stressed follicles this helps those stressed follicles remember that when you're deficient in anything especially iron and potassium this can cause hair loss right your body is going to pull what it needs from whatever it needs it in the body to include your hair your hair is not exempt Therefore, diet is also important. And I've said that in a previous video. If you don't have proper diet, you're going to mess around and your hair is going to fall out because deficiencies will cause your body to suffer different ailments to include hair loss and thinning. So I added in my water and I'm going to go ahead and stir. This was the water that had the banana powder and the fenugreek powder, as you saw. And we're just going to stir that up now you want to make sure that you're using a plastic bowl or a ceramic bowl and that you're using a wooden spoon because if you use metal you're going to demagnetize your powders and this pretty much is going to defeat the purpose of you even making a mask i added in some tea tree essential oil because that helps improve your overall scalp health because this is an anti-inflammatory and it's an anti-fungal I also added in some peppermint oil 
because that increases circulation. And I also threw in some Moringa powder because Moringa powder is very high in zinc. It reduces alopecia and it also contains iron as well as vitamins A and B. So this mask is full of all types of yummy goodness. Now for the fun part, I'm going to go ahead and saturate my roots and scalp with this mask so that we can thoroughly deep cleanse our roots and our scalp. We want to get all the oils from the week out of there and we want to make sure that we're treating our hair follicles good so that our hair follicles can treat us good. Make sure that you get every single part of your hair because that's what I'm doing. I'm getting every single part of my roots. And I also added this to my face to get some yummy goodness on my skin so we can cleanse the week away. I threw my shower cap on for an hour, guys. So I rinsed the mask off after about 25 minutes. And now I'm just going in and I'm just going to go and get the rest of whatever is remaining in my pores out. It's not really a lot of anything that's remaining. However, I wanted to go in and just make sure that those pores are cleansed from the oil from the week. We know it's a lot of things in the air, guys. So that stuff sticks to our skin. Even though you may come home and you wash your face, this stuff still can get deep down in your pores. So this is what I like to do at the end of the week is to go in and cleanse my pores. And I'm showing you the tool that I'm using to make that happen. When you don't cleanse your pores, your pores start to get large and it starts to look like you have many craters on your face. I don't know how to explain it no other way, but it will start to look like you have many craters on your face. And that's because your pores are trying to breathe and because they're not being properly cleansed, they just get larger. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse this with my African black soap, y'all. All right, so after that deep wash, I went on ahead, I grabbed my rose water, and I'm just going to thoroughly moisturize my hair by spraying all over. The next thing that I did was go in with my Ayurvedic hair oil. These same powders are some of the same powders that I put inside of my hair oil so that I can give my hair the yummy goodness that it needs and give my scalp what it needs, okay? You gotta feed that hair, baby, feed the hair.
Taking the jojoba and primrose oil that I made for my skin, I'm going to place this on my face. Jojoba oil helps promote collagen. It's moisturizing, it's an antibacterial, antioxidant, hypoallergenic, and it's great for scarring. Primrose tightens and firms the skin, lightens and improves dark marks, softens skin, and improves your skin texture. Youthful skin starts with primrose, guys, okay? If you want to check that out, you can go to my Etsy shop. I have it for sale.